See, I don't work for Tom anymore. I'm going to have to buy another little toolbox or something. Yeah, this is my new works, man. Like, tomorrow things perfect and straightforward. Right then, everybody. First video. So, let me show you the first job. What we've got to do is pull them this way. The board's behind this wall, so we're running a cable out. A tough flex. Cross. Clipping it all the way across. Up. I've already put up a continuing wire, great bit of kit. So that's gonna I'll zip tie the key across in into the shed and we'll have a double socket in there. We've got a little bit to do over here as well. Gotta run a cable out from the limb room across and two double sockets there. And that's pretty much it. So I'll be uh clipping all of this in now. Nice easy cable to work with. Um, to flexes, a bit easier and armoured, especially for only something little like it. So, yeah, that's it. The update so cables clipped zip tied across here and it got a couple of steel ties on it um but i'll do that when i'm back and then i clipped it down here as you can see space more out evenly because uh makes it look a lot neater if you just get like a ruler if i can show you something like this and then you just you can just space them out all evenly so that's a good um clipped it all across i always do screws on the bottom so the cable has a bit more support not that it really matters but yeah so i've clipped it all the way up here, up here. so like i said i think the board's around by here somewhere so i need to go on the other side in a minute and check exactly where it is and drill out i hope i don't hit that pipe i will make sure we don't hit that come out i'll come up in and then i'll see connect into the board which i'll show you in a bit then this is where the socket is built in up here so we're gonna clip this cable across drill through it's like it's locked a minute but basically there's a socket in there but like i said this morning the other job i've got to change that light here this is a bit naff i got a very similar one but i've got an led bulb which will be a bit brighter as well so I'll change that out today as well. And then like I said earlier as well, so I got a spear off out there, for a few spear off the socket. And then off that then that heating lamp fuse will protect the two sockets I'm gonna put out here. I think they just want some charge inputs when they're sitting out here in the summer or wherever. So I'll do the same thing, clip the cable. But yeah, that's where I'm at in a minute and I'll catch up. So I about earlier, this continuary wire kit. It's actually pretty good. This one's it's a little bit loose but i'm hoping when i fix it that side it'll tight strengthen it all up but if worse comes to worse i can just undo these clamps pull the cable a bit more and hopefully it strengthens it a lot more but if you guys got any better suggestions from going building to building like a short distance just leave it in the comments but this was my uh, setup and I'm quite happy with it to be fair it's a good turnout just an off note if you haven't got one of these tables i got it from being here a while back like 50 quid wicked bit of kit that is because it's like this I've got my coffee on it got my tool bag and I can, when I'm working on it you can just something to go off and you can also put vices in them and do it so you like slide them in and then you can cut like tray work or whatever you're doing so go and grab yourself one of them because amazing so all the tools I got 
and I'm for some reason carrying a fucking basket around with me to keep all my drills and drill bits in and it's broke on me. So I'm gonna have to buy another little toolbox or something or just go for another basket because it lasts about three days. <laughs> so you know you see my van at Tom's when I was working for Tom. Nice rack and everything. Well look at this beast now. This is my new works van. Whew. Yeah. To be fair, it actually fits surprisingly a lot in there. So I'm gonna save up for a new van, but that'll do for now and get me by. So, yeah. so that's where I'm working next door. This is one of my best mate's houses. He obviously got me this work over there. And I'm gonna show you what he's done in his little shed with my advice. But the first thing that sticks out to me is that I played a shit there. BG board won't listen to me, so he's gone with that, but you know, it's all right. And he's putting a couple of sockets in. Um, down there, and a couple of lights. Nice to see you clipped them, Joel. <laughs> Dangling in the wind. Um, what are you actually putting here? Um, washing machine, washing machine and dryer. So it's for a washing machine and dryer and all in here, but it's fine for what it is. But yeah, I thought I'd show you that. So he's not an electrician, but <laughs> seems like he's done a pretty good <laughs> job. So, so what I think is perfect and straightforward. So. As you can see, I drilled through and it's popped all the render and all the other bits and a bit of the brick. So I'm going to get it's a tillering gun. Well, my mate's going to do it for me anyway because um, he's got to do what it is. So he's going to fill all that back in. And then I'm going to get a cable entry cover. So it'll cover most of it. So it'll be back to normal and fine then. So yeah, real problems do happen. But so you fix them. And in this case, a bit like he obviously, my mate's uh, he's got to do it on his shed anyway. So you'll do this and then I'll get that cable entry cover and it'll look tidy then. Right, I'm pretty much done for today. I got to have an early finish today, so I got to be somewhere. So I've just done a little bit today and I finish off tomorrow. So I'll show you what I've done. So it was, I think I've showed you this already, but I'll show you again. So we clip the cable from over there, all the way across. Obviously, like I said, the continuing wire across. I drilled through and then I clip down here and put a socket in. Camera mount the show there. So I put that in. Um, it's in by the board, I haven't connected it yet, so I'll do that when I'm back tomorrow and I'll do some testing on that. And I may even show the test form and go a bit through that, but we'll see. See how busy I am tomorrow. So then we come across here. I still gotta change that. So what I gotta do now is basically drill through in there. I'm spearing off a socket and putting a few spear there, and then adding another socket and onto that socket. I've done that already. Obviously, left a coil there ready as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, pretty much it. Um, bit of tidying up now. But yeah, it's looking, looking good. So that's it, I'll catch you in the next video. Right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanna clear a couple of things up now before you go. Um, quite obviously, I don't work for Tom anymore. Um, I had to come back to Wales, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Me and Tom are still great friends. He's helped me out a lot and I appreciate everything he's done for me. Um, yeah, so I'm starting YouTube. I've obviously started my own company. It's not limited, yeah, I'm just a sole trader, but you get the gist. I've got my logo, done my public liability. Um, I got a couple of meetings with Business Wheels and people I need to speak to. But yeah, it's all looking good. Um, you know, this is a new adventure for me. Um, I'm 23 years old and trying this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I think I got enough experience and things to go for in my head. I got everything I want to do and I know my aim and I know my drive is good enough. So I just hope I can take it to the next level now and achieve stuff that I've never achieved before. And I hope I got your guys support with me and I, can you just like, comment, subscribe, um, leave all your advice and everything. Just leave it all below. I'll take it all on board and let's see where this journey takes me. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.